Welcome morning, guys. Three Bold Takes yet again with another prediction video this week for you. We have uh, Tennessee at North Carolina State. Um, this game is at 6.30 um, on Saturday. It looks like Tennessee currently is a 7.5-point favorite with an 88% chance to win this game, according to ESPN. Um, interesting matchup here. Tennessee looked real good uh, in week one. NC State kind of struggled. Uh, so... You know how 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 much do you look into week one for stuff like this? Um, do do you think maybe NC State was looking past their week one opponent and looking toward Tennessee? Um, what are you guys thinking about this game in particular? I think it's an interesting matchup. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just jump right in here. This is a crazy cool matchup. You got uh, it's kind of like it feels like one of those basketball Big Twelve SEC crossovers. I think this is a really cool game, but. Uh, this might be the most confident I've been in a Tennessee team since Hendon Hooker and Josh Heupel teamed up. Um, Nico looked really good, but I think it's been the hype that has been brought in with them, and then now it's the deliverance. I think NC State is still a really good team. I think this is going to be a really good defense that they're about to face uh, Tennessee is. But at the same point, I think Tennessee's offense is going to be really scary this year. And you get a lot of times in some of these situations, you get a lot of these guys, hey, he's going to be a Heisman contender. He's going to lead us to a national championship. And a lot of those guys immediately, you can just tell, bust. He he just doesn't have it. There's something that's not there. But Nico played the part, and he played it really, really well against Chattanooga the other day. Um, and I think he's going to continue, and he's going to really show it. I think it's going to be a closer game, but I could see a, a, a 41 to, to 24 kind of a game. And I think Tennessee is going to come out with a win here. So I'm going to go UT in this one. Yeah, look, I don't know if you know this, but when ACC schools play real SEC schools, the ACC schools lose. So, you know, you had Vandy taking care of Virginia Tech. You had Georgia blowing out Clemson. And then Miami played a uh, fraud. So we're not going to talk about that game. So Tennessee and North Carolina State, you know, like Tennessee, look, Chase is spot on. Nico looked really, really, really good. I know they're playing Chattanooga, but they hung, what, like 35 in the first, like, five seconds is what it felt like. Yeah. Uh, and I, I I can't get over, while I was watching the, uh, the Colorado-North Dakota State game because we had a prediction on it, I kept seeing the score of the West Carolina Catamounts leading NC State 21-17 going into the fourth quarter. I was like, what is what is going on? Now, I know NC State rattled off three touchdowns in the fourth and won the game. I don't think that's going to be enough to beat this, this Tennessee team. This Tennessee team has a lot of hype. And honestly, I'm looking at the SEC top to bottom. 15 of the teams in the conference are really, really good. Like, it looks like a – like, I'm not – obviously, South Carolina – oh, hold on, South Carolina didn't look that good. 14 <laughs> of the 16 teams looked really good. All right. I, I think Tennessee wins the game comfortably. I give them a 13-point win. Yeah, one of the things that impressed me about this game was not only Nico, uh, who had 314 yards in the first half and uh, did not play the second half uh, with along with three touchdowns, um, was their running game. They had over 300 yards rushing. Um, Dylan Sampson looked really good, had 124 yards on uh, 12 carries um, uh, with three touchdowns as well. Uh, you know, again, take it for what you, what you want. It's Chattanooga. But what do you expect from a, a team like Tennessee playing a team like Chattanooga? This is what you expect, that they showed up, they, they did what they were supposed to do, and that's all you can ask. Uh, NC State did not do that. Several teams in week one did not do that against far um, teams that they should blow out traditionally. Um, I've got Tennessee winning this game. I've got them by by 14 points as well. Um, I, I, although I am very curious to see how Nico plays um, on the road against a power four team. Now, NC State's not uh, necessarily going to be a powerhouse this year. Um, it's not like, you know, Nico's going to play, you know, um, at, at Clemson, Florida State, teams like that that have a far, yeah, have have notorious for their home field advantage. But NC State now, you know, 
it, it's just going to be interesting. That's all I'm going to say. And and this is Nico's first true road game. Um, you know, leading the team, being the guy on the team. So excited to see what he can do. And also want to shout out Tennessee for their jerseys. Uh, in week one, those jerseys were fire. I'm not a huge fan of the um, of the orange that they have, and when you can put it on a jersey and minimize that orange, I think it looks good. Uh, so shout, shout out Tennessee. Out. Don't shout that out. It's a shame. Tennessee, you have a high, you have an iconic uniform. Wear the white, orange, white, or the white, white, white. Don't be out here making all these fancy uniforms. You don't need it. You're the Tennessee Volunteers. Have some I loved respect it. for your for your look. We don't need all these specialty jerseys. Look, I'm old school like that. Hey, you were kind of cooking, though, with the NC State road game thing. And I'm going to go in all in for you. You know how many times I've seen a program like Notre Dame or Clemson or Florida State lose on the road in NC State? Like, mm-hmm. that is that is kind of the trap atmosphere of the ACC. So, Tennessee could be in for something there. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm excited. Uh, but it looks like it's a clean sweep across the board for Tennessee in this game. Um, so stay tuned, uh, subscribe for more. If, uh, if you like what you hear and want to hear more, uh, videos every single week and, uh, we'll see you guys next time.